Giacomo Geronimo Casanova. Bought by the grasping Khalifa of Shiraz. Charmed by the delicious Francesca. There's the bed. Lured into the clutches of Gelsumina. Wouldn't you like to munch? Imagine sleeping with Giacomo Casanova. Oh, he's coming too. Come with me then. And you can prove it to me right now. Can you or can't you? Are you or aren't you? No one will ever know unless they see the movie. And hereby hangs a tale of the world's greatest lover. Christopher Plummer. Florinda Bolkin. Maximilian Schell. The day that shook the world. All plans, they have hit the ceiling. It's the end, they say. It's the end of our whole organization. We'll live forever. The assassination at Sarajevo. Don't do it! The elevator. Try to understand. I must do it. The dedication, the sacrifice, and the torture of a band of idealists whose actions triggered the bloodshed of the First Great War. The day that shook the world. They begin by killing families at random. And if the CIA, FBI, and police cannot stop them, the human factor will. Using the most sophisticated surveillance equipment in the world, a team of experts uncovers an organization of international assassins and hunts them down like animals. Until one man almost becomes one. If you'd worked with the police, you'd have rounded up the whole gang by now. You want me to turn these animals over to the police so that they can be put in jail? So that he may become heroes and ransomed out by another group of psychos to kill somebody else? Not in your life! George Kennedy, John Mills, Ralph Vallone, Barry Sullivan, Rita Tushingham, and Arthur Franz are part of the explosive action of The Human Factor. Shortly before the start of World War II, the German High Command began a secret investigation into the powers of the supernatural. Ancient legend told of a race of warriors who used neither weapons nor shields and whose superhuman power came from within the earth itself. As Germany prepared for war, the SS secretly enlisted a group of scientists to create an invincible soldier. It is known that the bodies of soldiers killed in battle were returned to a secret laboratory near Koblenz, where they were used in a variety of scientific experiments. It was rumored that toward the end of the war, Allied forces met German squads that fought without weapons, killing only with their bare hands. No one knows who they were or what became of them, but one thing is certain. Of all the SS units, there was only one that the Allies never captured a single member of.